Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play- <sighs> Fucking A! Why did I bring the phone downstairs with me? Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum for real this time. Goddamn phone. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in there though. Anyway, in the last episode we completely blasted Rourke. Not Rourke, Byron. Jesus, what is wrong with me today? In this episode we need to go to the Valor Lakefront and do all the things because these guys are psychos and they want to capture all the things. I said all the things way too much. Anyway, um, my question of the day for today will be... What is your favorite Pokemon spin-off game, if any? And I'm gonna go ahead and say Pokemon Snap, simply because it's one of the only Pokemon spin-off games I've played. I've never played the Mystery Dungeon games or Conquest, although I heard that they were good. I have never once played them, unfortunately. And the one I did play, I wouldn't consider Coliseum and XD, like, spin-off games, because the core concept was the same, you battle Pokemon. And Snap, you took pictures of them, so it... The core concept was, by, you know, definition, different. So basically, I'm classifying a spin-off game as a Pokemon game whose core concept is to not capture in any way or battle Pokemon together. So, when you think about it, technically, I don't think you capture uh, Pokemon or technically battle them in, in uh, like, Pokemon, um... Shh. I can't remember. Uh, it's, it's the real-time strategy game. I mean, I think you do, but it's not the same. It's a real-time strategy game. And Pokemon Snap, you don't capture Pokemon at all, so... Oh boy, this is not the normal music for the Valor Lakefront. And there's a douchebag here! Closest civilization is that hick town called Twinleaf. Uh, dude... Uh, my Gardevoir kinda wants to throw a fucking black hole at you. Oh my god, it's a Magikarp! Oh, poor guy! Oh, I'm going to fight you all! Or, you know, you can just let me pass. That's, that, that works, too. Less editing for me to do. I kind of do want to get out of here, though, because this place is, like, a low FPS town. But I will fight a couple of these guys because, well, at least one of them is needed. So, here we go. Level 37, Golbat. Nice and easy. Oko with Thunderbolt. And this guy's going to stop you. You can go around this guy, but I really just feel like fighting these bastards. 33 Glammeowth, Stunky, Krogunk, and Stunky. I said Stunky. What was the other one then? God damn, I can't remember. Anyway, they were all easy. Investigating an explosion, doesn't matter who you are. Too late to make any difference. Things are going to get real interesting now. Oh, Joy, thank you for telling me exactly where your headquarters is. You're, you're a great grunt. You really are. Valor Cavern. Hello. Mission proceeding rather right hitch. Boss should be pleased. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hello. I recognize your face, you're the child who ran at the, uh, Team Galactic building at a turn. A Juniper should be ashamed being beaten by its child. Anyone who opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. And we fight one of the admins, because these guys are quite annoying. And this one, I don't know if it's a female or not, but if she's a female, then, well, she needs to work on some things, but... Anyway, Saturn will fight you, level 38 goal, but probably Air Cutter, Bite, Confuse Ray, and Toxic. Or Supersonic. You should have Confuse Ray at this point. Why are you sticking with the 55 accuracy move that always hits me? Come on. And Thunderbolt hits through the confusion anyway. Get wrecked. Speed that up for you guys. Because, who, you know, who wants to see the bar go, go down that slowly? And almost level 40. Toxicroak, her next Pokemon. Or his next Pokemon. I never knew whether Saturn was a male or female. Anyway, this thing will no fighting type moves. So you know what that means. Get him the fuck out of there. It would probably know Poison Jab and Revenge. Or Mud Bomb, that works too. Good thing I switched out of there, that probably would have O-Code me. And, you know, just, you know, hit him in the face of the Psychic. Easy enough. Times 4 weak to Psychic, and also weak to Flying. And dead Skeedoodles. Get wrecked. And will Tesla gain a level? Yes, he will. Level 40. Sweet. Wants to learn Discharge. No. Not enough double battles for Discharge. And plus it hits all three anyway. Lucille also gains a level. Level 41. Awesome. And Bronzar. His slash her last Pokemon. Level 38. Probably with Hypnosis, Confuse Ray, and Prison, and Extra Sensory. Not a fun moveset to fight against, but let's just go ahead and try to kill it as quickly as we can. Okay, no Shadow Ball, but... Yeah, super effective, only three levels lower, you did like 13 damage. Bronzor's main thing is definitely not attacking power. I should know, I used one. This thing can't really do much to attack you, just Toxic and Confuse Ray and hope for the best, really. 
and Commander Saturn has been defeated. Why are you calling me your friend? I am not your friend! Commander only managed to buy us time, that's fine, tried like you'll never will stem the flow of time. All three legendary Pokemon on the lakes, entirely new universe, Mars should have captured the Pokemon of Lake Verity by now. That is a super ultra mega not so subtle hint that you need to go to Lake Verity now, which is near Twinleaf Town, and I'll be flying to, I think it's Sandgem Town? Because that's where there's a Pokemon Center, and that way I could swap out my slaves. So anyway, I'll see you guys at Sandgem Town. Yay. Alright guys, we are back, and we are ready to help out at Lake Verity. We're going to leave with Rafiki because he hasn't gotten enough screen time, in my personal opinion. Then again, I haven't done a whole lot of screen time lately. It's all been me cutting out battles because they're all relatively useless. And that's one of the reasons why I'm looking forward to doing a Nuzlocke. You can't cut out battles in a Nuzlocke, otherwise people think you're cheating. So I'll just wind up like speeding them up with the speed up function. Hello! Team Galactic Scoundrels are out there legendary Pokemon. You've got to help Dawn. What's with this old timer? Uh, he's trying to stop you. Anyway, I'm very happy with this team that I have here, Rafiki and Gardevoir, because they can hit pretty much every other weakness of each one. Apparently, these guys have to do a job to stall me. Why can't we just push right through these guys? That would be a lot easier. Ah, level 37 Krogunk on one side to 33 Glamyow, 36... Murkrow... And 33 Golbat on the other. Anyway, we got one more to fight here. Do, 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 do. Really, you will really knock my Pokemon into orbit? That's reserved for Jesse James and Meowth, my friend. We're blasting off again. Each one of them had a Hound Hour level 35. One had a Stunky level 37. The other had something level 37. I can't remember. They're both too easy for me to remember. They're taking Pokemon out of the lake. I couldn't beat this person. Well, it's time for me to beat this person. How about the Windworks caught a lot of trouble for that incident? Look on your face, you remember me, don't you? No, I don't. Mars of Galactic Commanders, lovey-dovey couple of the Nod Chance, not even teeny one, you're all going down! Alright, it's time to fight the other commander. Commander Mars! She will lead with a Golbat, level 38, probably with Toxic. Toxic Wing Attack, Confuse Ray would be my guess, and I'm going to U-turn the Fudge out of here before he can Toxic or Wing Attack me, for that matter. I don't care if that bit did no damage, I am going to go with Tesla. If you confuse me, that's fine, you can't really do damage to Tesla anyway. And there's the Air Cutter. You know what I don't get? Why the hell is Air Cutter on a Golbat? Golbat does not have a good special attack. And there's the Bite trying to flinch hack me. Critical hit, not very effective, eh, flinch hacks. And you miss with Supersonic, thank you for that. And dead Golbat is dead. What's next? Are you gonna go with... You have the Purgly, don't you? No, you're gonna go with Bronzar next. Bronzor, rather. Uh... Might as well Thunder Wave him for no reason, because this thing is tanky, and you're gonna use Iron Defense, which is something I'm not at all concerned about. Let's try lowering that special defense of his. Come on. Nope, nothing. Extra Sensory will do less than nothing to me. Might as well go with the Thunderbolt here, since I didn't get lucky in lower special defense. And critical hit. Nice work, Tesla. Tesla proven his worth. And finally, Purgly. Level 40. This thing is ridiculously fast. And you're going to lead with Fake Out because you're a bitch. And Slash. Did almost no damage. This thing, obviously, I think will know Aerialize, Night Slash, Slash, and Fake Out. And now you're hurt by the poison. Go ahead and use Flash Cannon. Or you could, you know, be a bitch. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm also gonna be a bitch. Super Potion Time! Heals! And you're hurt by the poison. And guess what now? Full heal. Yay! And guess what I'm going to do? Oh, you're using a Citrus Berry. That's cute. I'm going to use another Super Potion. I'm going to let the poison kill you, you bitch. Well, I guess the poison won't do all the work. Oh, yes, it will. Yeah, <laughs> poison. Toxic. Awesome. That was nice and easy. Again and again, indeed. 
So first, the wind works now at Lake Verity. Don't be happy, blah, blah, blah. Calm down, done my part in this. Mission transport lakes Pokemon. That's right, I accomplished mission without a problem. Pulling out. Oh man, you're pulling out already? Jeez. Mesprit 2 is probably going to go help its friend. That worked out well for us. Super easy to catch. Now we got all of them being of emotion, the being of willpower, and the being of intelligence. Look forward to the plans that they have. Another Pokemon is taken away between both of you up against full-fetched criminals. The fact you're on hard is reason to celebrate. What about Brady? What happened at Lake Acuity? That's your hint. You have to go to Lake Acuity now, which means you need to go through Mount Coronet, which means we need one of our slaves with us, which is just fucking fantastic friggin' dandy. I'm gonna go head over to Mommy so she can heal my Pokemon, and then I will meet you guys at Old Person Town. Yeah, that's where we're gonna go, and we're gonna have to unfortunately bring two slaves with us. Our Defog Slave and our Super Slave. So I am going to be putting Azarian and Lazario in the PC. Mainly because in the next area, neither of them are going to be very useful. Alright guys, welcome back. We are at Mount Cornyn. We are at the uh, entrance from uh, Eternity. I believe that's the easiest way to do this. Mainly because I don't have to fight any of the trainers that were on the route near the old person town. Although I think it's actually easiest to get through this place if you go from Orberg, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, we're going to have to speed up that strength puzzle a little bit. I've got the repels the last for days here, and get TM69 Rock Polish. Eh, I can't think of a Pokemon to ever use that on. I'm going to go ahead and push all these boulders away, and I don't think this is a thing. No, that's not a thing. Anyway, grab this item. Escape rope. Just, you know, fine and dandy. Head over this way. Push this boulder. I'm pretty sure this is an item over here. I really hope no Pokemon comes out of these rocks. There we are. And we got a rare candy, which is actually quite useful. And over here. I don't think there are any trainers here, actually. There might be a few. And this is why you need Defog. Fantastic. And there's quite a, f a few items to find here. You can actually get through here without defog, it's just ridiculously tough, and if you get into a battle, you won't be able to do anything. Uh, let's see, I know there are items hidden around here. Fantastic, Repel. Thank you, Repel. I love you, Repel. Yep, there's an item up there. I know there's items um, that you have to surf to get. Uh, there's one here. Uh, you can actually rock smash to get this, but rock smacks, smacks, smash takes too long. And there's this item over here, which you can only get with surf. A light clay, which is good for reflects and screens, but I don't have any reflectors or light screeners on my team, which is just fantastic. And that's the last of the, those items. And then go over here, grab this item over here. As you can tell, I'm just trying to get through this. Super Slave used strength, made it possible to move boulders again. Uh, soft Sand, which would be decent on Gastrodon, I suppose. I don't think Gastrodon learns Earth Power, though. I don't even think Earth Power is a thing in this generation. Go ahead and move that item. Strength made it possible to move boulders around. Here's your Revive, which I can buy quite easily, considering I have almost infinite money right now. This is, in my opinion, probably the most obnoxious cave in any Pokemon game ever. With the exception of the World Islands. Because the World Islands, if you went in the wrong island, you couldn't get to Lugia. Oh, yay, full restore. I wish I could buy those. Full restores would have been very useful. And here we go. I think we're almost out, actually. There's something over here. Never melt the ice. Sweet. I believe this is unique to Platinum. I don't think this is here in Diamond and Pearl. And... Welcome to Route 216. Anyway, I believe at Route 216 we're going to end it off here since we've still got quite a few uh, miles to go until we reach the next city. And then after that we've got the gym. And the most annoying part about this route is you get stuck in the snow. It's like the marshes. And trust me, I'm going to rage. I will rage. It will be a thing. I don't think there's any items around here. Uh, a lot of the items here you actually can't get until Rock Climb, including Ice Beam. So you have to f revisit this, this area. As well, as amazingly as this area is mapped, I hate this area so much. 
Anyway, uh, that's gonna end it for this episode. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button for me. Let's try to get to five likes. Make sure to leave me a comment, guys, and I will see you guys. This is going up on Friday, so I'll see you guys Monday with another, another episode, if I can learn to do my outro correctly, of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, guys, take care. Mount Cornet. Yay!